And I'm here with uh, Tahir Bashir from uh, Sheridan's. Uh, great to have you on. And uh, let's talk about uh, collection societies this week. So uh, what is the role of collection societies, societies in an artist's career? Right. Uh, first of all, I think it's important to explain what a collection society is. Um, so in this country, you're talking about on the recorded side, there's PPL. Uh, on the video side, there's VPL. And on the publishing side, the songwriting side, there's PRS for music. Uh, typically for an artist, it's really, um, in the earlier days of their careers, it's mainly PRS with a bit of PPL. Um, why are they important? Well, uh, in many cases, it's the first income that artists receive. So it's really important that when artists write songs, uh, record songs, and they're out there, that they're registered to a collection society. Otherwise, that income will just sit there. Um, if they're registered, then they'll get um, uh, royalty checks coming through from PRS and, and, and PPL. Yeah, sure. And uh, uh, are there potential downsides to being registered to a society at all? It's interesting because, uh, you know, when you register, say, for example, to the PRS, you actually, as a songwriter, you assign certain rights to the PRS. So that uh, means that the PRS have the ability to offer blanket licenses, for example, when your music's used on TV, um, which means that you lose a bit of control around that. So uh, the downsides are primarily uh, deals which can get done without your control. Um, some uh, some uh, entities are looking for artists that aren't registered to collection societies to get around that whole issue. Uh, if artists enter into those types of deals, they've got to be sure that they're going to get paid the type of income that they'd expect. Generally, it's a good thing to register with collection societies. Absolutely. How important is data? I know that uh, the PRS, for example, encourages artists to register their songs as soon as possible, but do artists do that? Uh, a lot of artists don't. Uh, obviously, when a manager comes on board, that's one of the first things that they should be doing. Um, and you know, in terms of data, you know, d data in this day and age is what people get paid for. So if your song is registered with the collection society, the collection society can track its use, can get it monetized, and then pay out for, for, for the artist. That's great. Thank you. Until next week.